ouch, my shoulder hurts. It appears you're having a heart attack. This is an example of referred pain. You feel pain somewhere, but you're actually hurt somewhere else. Why though? Let me introduce you to the convergence projection theory. This is you, and inside of you are billions of neurons, which detect stimuli and send signals to your brain so that you can feel things and experience pain. The brain, however, can't always tell where this pain originates. That's because neurons converge. Signals from different parts of the body may come from the same neuron, and so your brain can't always distinguish between the visceral signals and the more common somatic signals. Patient X, for example, experienced shoulder pain but was actually having a heart attack. That's because the shoulders and the heart have the same second-order neuron. And so, because shoulder pain is more common than heart pain, the brain interprets it as coming from the shoulders. Imagine this. You're on a sidewalk and a car passes by. Your job is to find out where that car came from. So you walk in the direction in which it came. You find yourself at a crossroads. It makes sense to choose the busy road because it's more likely that the car came from there. This is what the brain does when it receives signals from somatic and visceral structures connected by the same neurons. It's almost a guess because the brain assumes that because pain is more common in one location, then it must be the cause.